know what it do, it's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. Alright, now in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is how to install a shower uh, filter, you know what I'm saying? This is the one that I referenced on my video before. If you haven't watched that video, I'll make sure I leave a link right above here where I covered the distilled water method. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was that with the distilled water method, at the time, I did not have any spray bottles. But that's one thing I love about you guys is that you you guys always uh, basically mention the things that I sometimes forget, you know what I'm saying? But you can put distilled water in a spray bottle and use that to wash your hair as well. But with this product today, what it does is it simply gets rid of the hard water that's in your shower, you know what I'm saying? Through a process of filtering it out, you know. If you don't know what hard water is, basically, the water that comes down whenever it rains is soft water. That's probably the softest the water is going to be because it's going to have some minerals in it, but it's not going to have too much. But once it hits the ground, it goes throughout the, the, the all of the soil, pipes, and everything like that, and it starts attracting different minerals. Now, some people tend to say that, that uh, hard water is, is better for you in regards to drinking it. Some people say that salt water is, some people prefer spring water, some people even prefer drinking distilled water. I'm not here to give you a, my, my personal recommendation on it. I'm here to be able to show you how to install a shower filter to be able to remove all these things out. Now, when it comes to this brand, if you want to be able to copy, I'm going to make sure I put the link in, in the description down below as well as the comments, you know what I'm saying? But uh, just to go through and read some of the things off to you guys, when it comes to this shower filter, uh, this is the Aqua Bliss SF100. Now, some of the features is a multi stage water filtration device that targets chlorine, dirt, odors, and other impurities in water. It has a high water output of high capacity shower filter that works with your existing water pressure. It has a high durable design, which basically means that it's thick, has a tough exterior for durability, and rigid design for easy opening and it has replaceable cartridges. Basically, the removable filter cartridges can be easily replaced within minutes. What it does, some of the benefits, it states that it purifies hot and cold water, which means it reduces chlorine and other impurities in both hot and cold water. It greatly reduces chlorine, and by doing it, it protects your hair and skin from damage and from the drying effects of chlorine. It inhibits the growth of organic materials like bacteria and fungi to protect sensitive skin. It reduces chlorine inhalation, which basically reduces the chlorine released into the air while showering for better respiratory health. It also revitalizes the shower by infusing the water with vitamin C and minerals for a more revitalizing shower. All right, with that being said, once you unbox it, what it looks like is gonna come in this plastic right here. This is the shower filter within the plastic. It comes with the filter rings, as you guys can probably see in the video. These little filter rings that you put uh, basically on the openings of the, the shower head. It also comes with the little O-ring, like the elastic O-rings that you can use just to help seal in uh, around the device. And then it comes with this cap right here. You know what I'm saying? This is basically a seal. So with that being said, I'm going to go through and, and show you all how to install it. All right. So the first step that you have to do, you have to rinse the shower head by placing the shower filter under warm running water for 60 seconds. Uh, turn the shower filter over and run water in the opposite direction as well. Get set, go! step number two you know what I'm saying once you get in the shower some shower heads or the shower arms you basically need to use a monkey wrench or something like this to be able to fit it around the fitting some of them are tight and too tight so what I'm gonna do is make sure I get it the right uh, size 
and then take this bad boy off. And once you break it free, you can take the, uh, the, the, the wrench off of it and then just simply turn it by hand. Now that it's off, one thing I misstated in the video, this is actually uh, plumbing tape, you know what I'm saying? You have to use this whenever it comes to the threads around the portion of the shower head. So the direction says wrap it around at least two to three times. This stuff is not adhesive, so you want to make sure when you do it, you basically have it in place. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get the filters and basically have it to where I can just, once I get the tape on there, I'll just put this on as well. All right, now whenever it comes to applying the, the shower filter on there, you want to take the female part. The female part is basically the one that uh, has the opening on this portion right here to connect to the male part on the shower head. So I'm going to just take the shower filter ring right here, place it right there, and then get the plumbing tape simply put it around three times around the threads all right once you have the plumbing tape wrapped around three times you basically just take the shower filter get the o-ring the, the, i mean the screen filter put it in there tap it down just a little bit and then just basically screw this bad boy on there in the clockwise direction now the directions say hand turn it so I'm not gonna use my my wrench or anything like that to tighten it up but then now the final step is just simply to take the shower head and put it back onto the shower filter so once you get it aligned just simply start turning it and voila now my shower filter is connected to my shower head. Now on this step, you probably noticed that I did not put the little shower uh, screen filter between the shower filter as well as the shower head. That's really an optional step. The reason why I avoid doing that is so I can have a spare uh, screen filter. So if anything happens to the one on the back end, which connects right here onto the shower filter, I always have a replacement. Now, the one thing I gotta say is, once you have this thing installed, clearly it, it serves as an extender. And as you can see, your boy, man, when you're tall, stuff like this, as of right now, if I put this, this thing is in my face. I prefer to have it to where it's on my head. So now when I take my shower, I'm gonna have to be looking like these, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But it is what it is, man. That's one of the struggles about being tall. But if you are on the opposite spectrum, are you sure you may have a Napoleon complex or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna help brighten your mood because it's gonna bring the connector a little bit down to basically the level that you wanted it, you know? So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a little short instructional uh, tutorial of how to install it. I'm gonna make a follow-up video in regards to the benefits of having a shower filter on here. If you have any comments, Make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. But as you guys already know, with that being said, it's your boy J. Lou. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And at the end of the day, salute. When I hop up out the bed, I stay brushing my way. Even on my way to work, I stay brushing my way. Oh, it's time for a break. I stay brushing my way. Even when it get late, I stay brushing my way. I stay brushing my waves. I stay brushing my waves. I stay brushing and brushing.